What's up guys, it's Andy Filicotti and today I'm gonna to show you, I wanna have my drone. What's up guys, it's Andy Filicotti and today we're gonna to talk about drone editing. Um, I'm too lazy to get the drone out of my car, so um, I'm, I'm sure if you have one, you know. <laughs> So if you're anything like me, you switch over your photos to RAW on the uh, DJI Mavic. And I don't know, just when I got my photos in Lightroom, I was a little underwhelmed. <laughs> but I think I found a pretty good technique to edit the photos and I'm gonna show you today. So the one thing I noticed is that the colors aren't that accurate or like, I don't know, it just seems grainy. The first thing you might wanna do is increase saturation. But I noticed that it doesn't really give me the effect I want. So I found that using the brush tool and actually drawing the colors onto the scene. So if you have a bunch of green trees, you can actually draw green onto the scene or you can actually change the colors of the trees to anything you want. So we're gonna increase our brush size here. Now you'll notice I have the auto mask on. This is really important because you want the auto mask on because it'll select the color selectively as you're doing it. So as you're actually um, using the brush tool, you can hit O and it'll show you where you're overlaying. So you can see how it's mainly just picking the greens out of this area. So if I turn that off, I can actually get the little uh, left behind uh, tones there. But I usually keep it on just for the sake of convenience. Now this is just gonna be a really quick tutorial. I'm not gonna go in depth with every little piece. So yeah, after you select your trees or whatever you're trying to color, color you can hit O and um, you can see I have everything highlighted now. Some missing parts there, but uh, we'll ignore that for now. I usually turn the saturation all, uh, down all the way and then go down to color. You can actually pick the color that's overlaid on top of the brush. I want it to be more natural, so I'm gonna go with uh, green. Now just from that, you can see the color just looks richer and more vibrant. And yeah, you can actually do this with every part of the scene. For example, if you're doing it for the dirt, put the saturation down. Go to a brownish color. Sometimes I notice it's too bright, I just put the uh, exposure down to adjust for that. This might be a little bit too colorful, so you can adjust the intensity here. If this was a final photo, I'd be individually going in and correcting all the um, mistakes I'm doing with the brush tool. So to actually erase, I usually do the overlay, so you hit O again to overlay. So if there's areas where it's not all correct, I usually uh, hold Alt and I do the same thing. I erase, make sure the uh, auto mask is on so you can auto mask the color out of it. And then you can go back and add, add in. So I'll do that for pretty much all the edges in the photo. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the fun part about this tip is that you can uh, change all of your colors. So like if you wanted a red forest, um, you, you might have to play around with the uh, exposure, etc. But you can get pretty cool effects if you really like your photos to be modified. <laughs> but yeah, here are some of the examples that I've done with this technique. So you can see here I made the forest completely yellow. Um, let me go to the before photo. And I still think it gives it a natural-ish look. Um, you know, obviously this isn't completely real. Um, I made the water a lot bluer and the trees yellow, for example. But yeah, I just figured it was a better way to make my drone photos pop more. I was kind of disappointed with the photos straight out of the camera. And here's one of my more popular photos that I did the technique on. I actually made the, the, the forest all red. Thanks for watching guys, and if you liked it, leave a comment, and if you didn't, uh, hit dislike, and um, make sure to follow me. My username is at some guy on Instagram. Have a good day. Also, this is the new LaCroix La Cola. Yeah, it basically just tastes like a watered-down Coke.